Hey folks, welcome to a brand new week. Hope you had a great 4th of July holiday. Gosh, it was fun, wasn't it? The booms. I didn't even mind that I was being kept up all hours of the day and night because I heard boom, 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 knowing everybody was celebrating the 4th of July and Independence Day. It's a big day for us right behind me here, Grassroots, a Common Sense Action Agenda for America. Here's the book. That's the bigger version right there. Here's this version. Dick Cheney right here says, hey, if you love America, I know you love America. But if you love America, if you love liberty, do you love liberty? I love liberty too. This book should be at the top of your reading list. Where will it where, 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 will, it, where will it land on your reading list is my question for you. And don't be afraid to say, hey, uh, you know what, I got three ahead of it. Because we want to talk a little bit about uh, what books, what political books, what patriotic books, what, uh, you know, what, what, what's inspired you in the way of, uh, of reading. So we're going to talk a little bit about that today on the program we call the Common Sense Club and the Scott Hinnon Show. Uh, and looking forward to that very much as well. I had to turn my phone off. It rings 24-7. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that book rings. Unbelievable. Another question we're going to ask today, I have it up on the Facebook page as we speak, is the enthusiasm waning for the Tea Party movement. A lot about what I talk about in the book does relate to the incredible Tea Party movement here that was very successful. From an electoral, political standpoint, successful. Uh, but what's next? You know, there was a time for signs. We had Leon Francis, a, a Tea Party uh, member who I talk about in the book on last week, and he said, the signs... And, and the parties, that's over. Now it's time for action. Okay, well, what? what, what what's next? What do you do? What, uh, you know, and, and do you think enthusiasm is waning? If it is, why is it waning? So we're going to talk a little bit about that, some of the themes in the book. I'll be doing a live radio interview with Lars Larson for his uh, radio show in the Great Northwest during the show live. So that'll be kind of fun. Uh, we're, uh, so we'll take that live. I'm also doing his national show later after the uh, program. We'll have all the links for that on the Facebook page and check it out. Rick Berg is getting some grief uh, for saying that folks in Minot have responded far better than those that were impacted by Hurricane Katrina. Why? It's the truth. But the liberal, uh, you know, Democratic desperation campaign machine is cranking up. We'll talk a little bit about that today on the program. Also, Michelle Bachman said, God will heal our land. Michelle Bachman inspires me. Michelle Bachman gives me hope. And when she says something like that, I agree. We've got a lot of healing that is necessary, and we're not going to do this alone. We're not going to do it by electing some, uh, you know, Messiah, like folks thought they were electing, not us, but some on the left in Barack Obama. So we'll talk about that. It's, it, you'd expect the mainstream media. You mentioned God, and they go they get like hives. You know, I mean, they, they just... They crumble, and so they're crumbling, and there's a lot of establishment reaction to Michelle's comment. We're going to talk about that, too. All on the Common Sense Club of the Scott Hand Show, day one. You can buy it now, folks. It's out there. Want an autographed copy? I'd love to hand you one. We're giving away uh, lots of autographed copies of the book. All you need to do is go to scottinan.com, like our all-new fan page, and uh, you're in to win. Simple as that. Grassroots of Common Sense, Action Agenda for America. Day one today, let's have some fun talking about it on the Scott Hand Show. It's the Common Sense Club. Join us.